Hey, it's Daniel from VoiceFlow. We've got a big update to the knowledge base step coming that's based on the feedback we've heard from thousands of community members over the past few months. If you've been using VoiceFlow, you know that the knowledge base step looks a bit like this. It's got a single field for the prompt and it's hard coded to use the global settings that you set in the knowledge base. The result of this is that it ends up looking something like this, where you're putting in a complex prompt where you've referenced a user question and you have a bunch of other information that they're hoping the assistant finds out. And in the knowledge base, you've got another big prompt that you're hoping the system will follow as well. And the result of this is that sometimes the answers aren't what you expect. The knowledge base returns with an answer, but sometimes it isn't actually referencing uh, a lot of the material or the instructions that you created. And so from that, we're going to be introducing a whole bunch of new features to help make this easier. So if I hop over here to our development environment and I go ahead and pull out the new response uh, AI step with a knowledge base source, you'll see that we've got a bunch of new fields here and some new features. The first one is that we've separated out the prompt field into a question and instructions field. This is designed to make the prompt that we're sending to the AI model a lot more structured and easier for it to understand. So rather than having the entire prompt, you're able to actually just pull out the question and have the question in the question field. So I'll say last utterance, and then you can have your custom responses below. This makes it much easier for the AI to understand and also helps clear up a ton of clutter on your canvas. Going back in here, you also notice that we've not found path. This has been a highly requested feature that we've had to implement a couple of different times now to figure out the best way to do it. What this path does is it creates another not found path on the canvas underneath your question. When this path is on, if the assistant does not know the answer to your question, rather than saying, sorry, I couldn't find that, it's not gonna say anything and instead it's gonna go down the path that you've described. This gives you a ton more flexibility in how you allow the assistant to respond and act when it doesn't know the answer to a question. Another field you'll see is the override prompt settings. So this allows you to actually set a custom system setting for your specific step. So previously, you had to use the system prompt that you had in the knowledge base for all of your different steps, like the one you have here. This is now the global knowledge base setting. So if you choose to override the setting, you're able to actually define all these values within the step itself. When the setting is turned on, the step will look at the system settings you have here. When it's off, it'll default to the one you've got in the global settings. You'll notice that we can choose a specific model, temperature, tokens, and include a specific system prompt. This is going to make it much easier for you to be able to control the prompt that you're sending to the AI model and structure in a way that the model can actually pick up the question and understand the instructions that you've got come with it. And of course, none of this is possible without your feedback. So this is the first release of this. We would love your feedback, what works, what doesn't, what can be improved. So we can make rapid changes to this to make sure that it responds to your questions more accurately. We've also updated the wrapper prompt that's being sent in addition to this. And you can find that in our docs. So you can have visibility into what's going on behind the scenes and what's changed from previous versions of it. That's it for now. We're going to be coming back with a whole bunch more updates over the coming months. But thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one.